Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm Elaine and the channel is Silver Moonlight. So if you haven't been here already, um, I upload videos on lifestyle and that is like anything to do with the house, the home, the garden, you know, I do shopping hauls, I do try like clothing hauls, try-ons, um, I just do a bit of everything really. Today I'm here with the um, charity shop haul. Oh, can you see the sun come out? I'm really, really sorry for the variation in the light, but um, you know, it's uh, the sun coming and going. Um, this is like the, the best room I have to film in with like light, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, so if you can please like just bear with me, you know, with regards to the lighting. Um, so yes, um, I've got a charity shop haul for you today. I uh, picked up some like little bits in the charity shop. Uh, there's a few things I want to um, mention as well on on them um, on this video. Um, so yes, we've um, we've started the garden. Um, I don't know if you've seen my garden vlog. I will link it. But um, we we're, we're like kicking the, the decking about a bit, you know, because it, it just wasn't working for us. So um, I'll take you out there and show you what we've been doing. Honestly, you're going to think, alien, what the heck have you been doing? But honestly, you've got, what's the saying? Um, you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. <laughs> and that's all I'm keeping in my mind because I look out there and I think, oh my God, you know, what a mess, you know. Um, but... You know, I've got to just look past that and see, like, the bigger picture. But it, sometimes it's just quite hard. You know what I mean if you've done any work yourself in your house, you know, with that, that stage where everything's like, ah! <laughs> I'll take you out and show you. So, here it is all stripped down. And it's to taken off. All the spare roof tiles and bricks that I've hidden underneath. So you can see where it's going to go, which is just here. That's going to be the new line. New post there, new post there, and then decking across the rest. But there's one or two little, little issues that just need to be sorted first. So that's the right hand side. All rejigged, leveled, rotten, replaced. Starting to come across into the middle section and just putting the new supports for the handrail so guys this is it let's go it's very blustery today old bits of decking <laughs> On that side we haven't started this side yet we're going to do this side first but as you can see like the angle of the thing is different to this side now and it's come out like quite a way and this is like this has come out quite a bit as well now uh, the, the steps used to be here so the steps are now going to be here so you can see you know how far it's came out so we're gonna have quite a bit of room here and the thought behind it is because we had a party well we've had a few parties but um we put a, uh, like a buffet table here and there's not much room to get past when you do that so we're widening this so we're gonna have the buffet table and there's still lots of room you know to walk from the bar with your drink past the table grab some food and then go and sit over here so that is the garden guys it is as i say a, a bit of a mess at the minute and once he's done this decking because he started here he's broken his bed across he's had to renew all the wood because it was wrong you know, there was loads of rotten wood uh, because 
house has been in for like 14 years so he's he's leveling it all again you know but we're just going to continue along and then we're going to do the bar area so that's it as it is so yes that's the garden as it is guys and it does look rather a mess but you know what it'll be good you know in the end once it's all finished it'll be good um yes outfit of the deer is this dress that i got from um where did i get peacocks i will link the last video so you can see what it's like uh, but it's a beautiful beautiful dress you know i'm actually loving wearing it it's um it's dead summery and tropical isn't it um and it wasn't very expensive it was only 18 pound so yes guys i'm gonna just jump in and show you what i bought so first off i bought this big board um now i paid three pound for this from the cancer research uk charity shop and it's huge it's really really big and I've got this it's not like as a chopping board or a serving board because I thought it would look lovely like with pizza on here you know a nice like big Craigie you can get like a 14 inch pizza on there that's huge it really is so and I thought for three pound and honestly it looks like it's never being used there's not a mark on it so I thought it was a bargain for three pound it's quite heavy as well it's quite thick you know so yeah, I've seen other boards like in charity shops like this. So rather than buying them from the likes of B&M and places like that, you know, I have a look in the charity shops for like serveware like this. Okay, so next up guys, <clears throat> I picked up this. And it's a little um, savings jar. And it's our wedding fund. I hope you can see that and the light's not playing too much on the on the um, camera. So it's got like these little horseshoes and it's like glittery. Put your money in the top. To open it, you're going to have to like drill a hole in here to get like the money out. But that's like the, the purpose of it, you know, so you can't get in and read it. Mind you, when I was a kid, oh, I used to read mine. I used to have a paddy, um Rupert the Bear, sorry it wasn't Paddington, it was Rupert the Bear, you know, he was the one with the checky trousers and the red jacket, yeah, and I used to dangle him, you put the money in his head, and I used to dangle him upside this, upside down, and I used to get a knife and be poking it like that, and then the money used to drop out, <laughs> and that's how I used to read my money box, <laughs> terrible. Anyway, hey, can you remember their money boxes as well, you put like two pence in and you got a little chocolate, a little uh, Cabaret's chocolate uh, out of it. I used to love that as well. I used to get one every year for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, this is like, it says on the back, put some money in the pot and it will help to pay for a really, really special and happy wedding day. So I thought that was really, really nice. And I picked this up for one of my daughters because um, they're both engaged um, and they will be safe. Well, one of them is saving up to get married. So I thought that would come in handy for her. It was only £1.50, guys. And I thought that was really, really nice. It's it's brand new, you know. It's got the tag on and everything. And it would have cost a lot more than that new, I'm sure. Um, it hasn't actually got the price on, like the original price. But I'm sure it would have been about £10 new, if not more. So I will pass that on. <laughs> um, next up, guys, I bought this it's big <laughs> this box and it's got like a lovely Parisian um it's like a, I'll come closer so you can see I hope it picks it up so it's got a yeah des fleurs the flowers um Paris Rue Lafayette number 33 it's got all these like beautiful flowers on it's got a little clock there and a stamp and it's just like really really um like french parisian look to it so it's just a storage box guys it's really quite big um it's got the original tag on it lovely little bore inside whoops loads of space inside for storage i did get this for my dressing room um so that's it there as you can see it's quite big you know and the pattern continues 
all the way around. It's really very pretty. But, um, I mean, that one caught my eye, but when I opened it up, there was another one inside of it. So, that's the one inside. And it's just exactly the same, just a smaller version. Again, not used. Now this one here, it does have, I did notice once I got to the, like, the till, the checkout, that it is, um, it has got some water damage to, uh, to it. I don't know if you can see. It's um, lifted off the paper. Um, this is a bit damaged here, but that just needs like, um, pressing back in, like holding in for a while, treating it to be back back to its like usual shape but then I thought it doesn't really matter she said to her, oh well you can have them for three pound and I thought well three pound you know I'd have paid three pound just for that one to be fair and once one standing on top of the other which is which we all have them in the dressing room you're not gonna um see that at all you know so I paid three pound for these two boxes which I thought was quite a bargain I think they used to sell things like this in them, like Dunelm and that. Because I tell you what I do want, uh, and I do need them. It's not the case of like, what? Because do you have it's um, do you have it's like, well, do you need that? And I'm like, what's what's need got to do with it? I want it. <laughs> and you're like, um, I want some hat boxes because I do have hats, and I've just got them like on top of the wardrobe and hanging on the back of doors and things like that. And they collect dust, you know, so I, I want like proper hat boxes to put them in. And um, just a couple, you know, I don't want like a stack of hat boxes. <laughs> I haven't got the room for that, but not until Emma moves out anywhere. <laughs> but um, I just want like um, a couple of hat boxes will do. Okay, so on the next item, guys, is this beautiful dress. I couldn't believe it, um, but it's absolutely beautiful colour and I, I I bought it I didn't even notice until now when I've come to do the video it's actually brand new it's never been worn it's still got its tag on it originally came from ASOS it's an inner size 20 it is a tad too big for me but nothing that I can alter like just put a, like a quick little tuck in you know but it's it's stunning it's I love this colour you know, it's a really nice wintry colour and that's when I wear it. I'm possibly going to wear this at Christmas, New Year time. If I go out for like, the, you know, the Christmas fair meals, like with my friends, um, I'll probably wear it then. Um, or feeling that I'll, I'll actually wear it on Christmas Day because I do like the colour of it. Um, so it's like this crossover here. It's got a bit of an elasticated waist here. It's not really elasticated, but, you know, there's a little bit of give in it. The back is just stunning. It's um, It's got, like, a slit in the back where it's not revealing too much, you know. It's just, like, a little tiny hint, which is fine by me, you know. And it's got um, these straps here. You'll see it better when, when it's on, you know, because it things never look right on the hanger, do they? Um, it's not until you try them on. You know, because I do, I do believe things can look totally like rubbish on the hanger, and then once you see them on, you get like such a surprise, don't you? But it's in this lovely pleated, like soft pleated skirt. Now this, do you know what this reminds me of? And I did used to have a dress like it back in, I think the nineties it would have been, and um, it was based on the one I had and. This one was based on the um, Marilyn Monroe dress, you know, that, that iconic dress where she's standing over the vent and it blows up. I used to have a one like that, and uh, but that one was an alter neck, um, so I can't wear alter necks now. You know, I need I need bras, I need underwire bras, I need scaffolding, guys. No, not underwire, I need scaffolding. <laughs> but um, I could never wear that dress again. But this one is a very similar style, you know, and... I can still wear a bra with this at least, you know, with it having like a back in. So I shall insert a try on clip of, um, of me trying this dress on so you can see what it looks like on me. But it was originally from ASOS and as I say, it's a size 20, so it's a little bit too big um, and it was only £6.50. And I thought it was lovely. I mean, a brand new dress for £6.50 and you'll never guess what, guys. 
it was in the actual same charity shop. So I don't know whether the persons donated these at the same time. Um, but I picked up these shoes. Now, they're an absolute match for the dress. I hope you can see. I just honestly, I thought somebody must have donated those two together. The shoes are, I think they've been worn once. Um, and I'm seeing that. They're probably, do you know what? Somebody's probably bought this for a wedding or something and just worn it for the wedding because the shoes are practically immaculate. I mean, look at the soles. They've hardly been walked on. That's somebody just getting out of a car that and into a venue. I mean, there's absolutely no wear on the heels at all. Um, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's no, absolutely minimal wear. And do you know what? They came from Peacocks. <laughs> and um, I've just dis rediscovered Peacocks, you know, recently. I should wear the dress that I'm, I've currently got on. But yeah, these were from Peacocks. They're a size 5, and they're a little bit too big for me, because I find, like, I was a size 5, but my feet is have shrunk. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> No, I think they shrink with age um, so I'm going to have to get like some heel grips or something to keep them on but that's not a problem you know not when I've only paid like £2.50 for them so uh, £2.50 for a practically brand new pair of shoes so I've gotten the OLA fit for £6.50, £7, eight, nine pound like an entire outfit for £9 I'm absolutely off the moon with that yeah definitely get yourselves to the charity shops you know you can get just pick up some amazing bargains there you really really can i mean um all whole outfits you can get there you know so guys i do have an, one last item to show you so i'm going to take you off the tripod because it's a big one and show you that right guys my next item is this like a rockin crib and it's all wicker it's beautiful and it's got like the carry handles here. This is like the inside. These things go like um, around here to sort of keep keep it in place. But um, the inside of it is this removable cover. It's just like tied on with the ribbons. So you can take it out to be washed. Um, it's got like the little mattress here, you know. Um, it's just a beautiful like little little wicker <laughs> it's not really wick uh, little um, and it rocks from side to side you know so you can rock the baby it's absolutely lovely and guys the price honestly you'll not believe the price I absolutely couldn't believe it because we paid a fortune for things when we had our kids didn't we and the prices for things now it's so cheap this was only eight pound, guys. I hope that camera's going to focus there. Only eight pound for this. And funnily enough, there was a, a basket um, in the shop that I liked. Um, it wasn't in the same shop, but in another charity shop. And a basket, like just a, was eight pound. And I thought, crikey, that's eight pound. And then this is eight pound. It was. It's mad because this is so, like much more you know right guys now i know you're all going to be thinking alien if <laughs> what you been buying a crib for have you lost the plot or are you pregnant <laughs> guys i'm not pregnant them days are long and truly gone but however my little emma is pregnant so i'm going to be a grandma and i'm absolutely over the moon honestly <sighs> god <laughs> i'm getting emotional but honestly, when you told me, I was just like, oh, I just burst into tears, honestly. I really burst into tears. And um, 
because Emma didn't think that she could have any kids as well for for a while. So um, yeah, it's it come as a total total surprise. Um, right, I've pulled myself together, <laughs> but honestly, we are mo honestly beyond overjoyed. We really are. We're all looking so forward to this baby. You know, we haven't had a baby in our family since you know my son. Um, he was like the last baby in the family, so we're just so looking forward to meeting our little Pippin. <laughs> I've named the baby Pippin because when I when we found out about Emma being pregnant, it was the size of a pip, like an apple pip. She went, oh mum, it's the size of an apple pip. So that was it. The name Pippin was born. <laughs> so we're calling it Pippin. Um, not as proper name. <laughs> I'm sure they will find a new name for it once it's born, but I call it uh, My Little Pippin. And I've got a little picture of Pippin. So this is little Pippin. Honestly, I am so, so happy. You know, I've, I've wanted to be a grandma. Um, I have lots of friends who is like grandparents, you know, and... Um, yeah, it's just something that you always like hope that you will be one day. So <laughs> um, I'm going to be out doing lots and lots of shopping for little Pippin, you know. But um, we're going to find out um, what, you know, what, what it is, if it's a girl, if it's a boy. Because um, you can't find out these days. Not like when we had our babies and you, you just got a surprise, didn't you? You know, um but Emma, Emma wants, and her partner wants to find out, you know, what what sex the baby is. So, you know, they can plan for it, you know. Um, but yeah, that's my really, really, really exciting news. Well, it's exciting for me in any way. And the baby is going to be due early next year. So we're really excited. Sorry, I keep saying I'm really excited, but I can't help it. You know, I've known about this for a while and... Um, you know, Emma's wanted to get to that stage, you know, like over a certain like time um, before she's told people and before I've been allowed to tell people, but I've been absolutely besting to tell people, believe me, and to tell you guys, you know, I don't know how I've come to end myself, but um, yeah, um, I'm kind of used to confidentiality in any way, so never mind. <laughs> Sorry guys, there was somebody at the door. <laughs> Why do I always want to say, there's somebody at the door, there's somebody at the door. Do you remember that? Um, I got off on a tangent, Anna. <laughs> um, anyway, what was I saying? Yes, um, my channel, a little bit of a change to the channel. So, um, as you know, I mean, it's the school holidays now. My son's broken up from school. So I'm going to um, reduce my uploads to two videos a week instead of the three. Now, I'm saying that, you know, and I probably will end up posting three a week. But, you know, just in case I don't manage to do the three, I'm aiming to do like the two a week. Because um, we're not going on holiday, like in in this summer holiday, like this um, school holidays. But I do want to like take him on day trips and things you know I do want to spend some time with him because he's getting older you know and he's not going to be wanting to hang up about with me you know um for much longer he's going to be off doing his own thing so whilst I can have that time with him you know I'm going to do that so I think I'm going to take him like bowling into the cinema and out for food and things like that you know um so it'll enable me to do that with him I'm sure you will understand you know but yes I'll definitely be um uploading twice a week and probably will you know be three times but I can't commit to three times a week if you know what I mean so I just want to thank you all for taking some time out the day and joining me um I really really appreciate all the support that you give me and um yeah to those of you who's not already subscribed I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel I'd love to have you as a regular visitor here you know um that would be absolutely fantastic so I just want to say um have a lovely evening guys um I hope you are safe and well so until the next time guys take care everyone bye bye bye